There's almost nothing left untouched by fighting in this Shambat neighborhood of northern Khartoum. Those brave enough to venture out were met by debris, unexploded shells, and the mangled wreckage of military trucks crushed by airstrikes and vandalized commercial stores. As you can see, the market mosque was destroyed by the explosion. All the shops in the market were destroyed by the force of the explosion. Shop doors no longer open. On Wednesday, people took advantage of the relative calm to stock up on food, fuel and other supplies. Residents flocked to the few bakeries which are still functional to buy bread and flour. People are helpless. They queue for bread. They queue for petrol. There is no fuel. There is no bread or water. Security is not stable. And the situation is very bad in the health centers. People are sick and the injured are not able to receive treatment. Meanwhile, many foreigners continue to flee Sudan. On Wednesday, 136 Moroccans landed in Casablanca on an Air Maroc flight. The plane took off from Port Sudan in the east as takeoff and landing for passenger jets is not possible in Khartoum. We left Khartoum and after 36 hours by bus, we arrived in Port Sudan, where we spent 24 hours in a hotel. We then took the plane which made a stopover in Tunis before landing in Casablanca. On Wednesday, an Eastern African regional bloc submitted a proposal to extend a shaky ceasefire agreed Tuesday by a further 72 hours 